Today we're going to learn how to model and simulate a spring mass system in Python with and without friction. Then we'll create some animated plots and discover what this spiral has to do with a spring. I'm Logan and I hope you learned something new. Let's begin by drawing a spring and a mass. We define x as a displacement of the spring with positive x towards the ground and negative x towards the ceiling. The spring has a stiffness k and the mass is m. The kinetic energy of the system is simply 1 half m x dot squared. The potential energy has two components, one for the mass and one for the spring. As x increases, the potential energy of the mass decreases, which is why we have v equals negative mgx. The potential energy of the spring is given by Hooke's law, with v equals 1 half kx squared. Now we plug t and v into the Lagrangian and simplify. Our system only has one coordinate and that's just x, so we have one Euler-Lagrange equation. First, we'll take a derivative of L with respect to x dot. Then, we take a derivative of L with respect to x. Solving for x double dot, we obtain our equations of motion for the spring mass system. Now, let's go ahead and double check our work with a simple Python script. Let's get started by importing SymPy and then enabling LaTeX output. Now, we'll define some symbols. We have m, g, k, t, and x and x is a function of time, so we need to use our dynamic symbols. Let's define x dot and x double dot. Now we can plug into t, v, and l to get our Lagrangian. Remember that t is our kinetic energy, v is our potential energy. And then finally, we can solve the Euler-Lagrange equation. So here, we'll write down the Euler-Lagrange equation, and then use the solve command, pull out the first solution, and then output that to the screen. So running that, we get x double dot is g minus kx over m. Now let's simulate a spring and mass system with numpy and scipy. For step one, we'll define our constants g, k, m, and the initial conditions x naught and x dot naught. x naught is the initial position of the mass, and x dot naught is the initial velocity. For step two, we'll write down the system ODE. In scipy, y is the state vector, so y0 is x and y1 is x dot. So we return x dot comma x double dot. For step three, we'll simulate a system. We'll use the solve initial value problem function from scipy. We'll enter the ODE function, the time limits, initial conditions, and a list of time values to evaluate x and x dot. Finally, we'll pull out x, x dot, and t from our simulation. Now let's generate some plots of x and x dot to make sure that our simulation give us results that we expect. First, we'll import matplotlib. Then we'll plot x and x dot as functions of time. We'll set the line width the color, and also give a label for a legend. We'll add a title, a legend, x label, y label, and a grid. Running that, we get this nice plot of x and x dot. We see that x is red and x dot is blue, and we get this nice sinusoidal pattern, which we expect. With some slight modification to a code, we can animate this graph. Every video frame, we redraw the position and velocity curves, then we'll save this to an mp4 file. Now let's look at a phase diagram of a system. We have position on the x-axis and velocity on the y-axis. We see that the phase diagram is a loop, so the system does not lose any energy. Let's compare this to a spring with friction. Now the phase diagram spirals into what is sometimes called a spiral point or a center. Time out. How do we add friction to a model? Let's go back and see. Let's assume the spring has some linear damping coefficient b. The Grange's equations normally assume that the system does not lose any energy. To model friction, we need to add an element that sucks away energy from the spring and mass. Enter the dissipation function. Because the spring exhibits linear friction, we use d equals 1 half b x dot squared. Plugging this into the Euler-Lagrange equation, we eventually get an equation of motion for the spring mass system with linear damping. We update the simulation code by first adding our constant b. We'll add our new differential equation called the spring mass with friction, ODE takes in t and y, we'll return x dot comma g minus k x over m minus b times x dot over m. Last thing we'll do is we'll update a solve IVP method, and we'll run that. In the time domain and the phase domain, we see that our system reaches a steady state. In the next video, we'll animate the spring math system and dive deeper into the mathematics of linear transformations. As always, if you learned something, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.